morning, Tennessee Valley, and welcome to another day of broadcasting right here at WDJL, your gospel explosion station. It's time for the Christ in Action broadcast with your host, Pastor Mark Barrett. We got him, and he's ready to go. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning. How you doing this morning? Well, sir, it is a sensational Sunday. A great day to be alive in the Lord, sharing the good news. Yeah, man, I tell you, you know how to bring the word excitement alive, and that's what that is all about, getting excited about hearing the good news that you're about to bring us that we can use. And Pastor, I'm going to step out of the way and let you, you go at it right now. And, 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 and listen, you know, you know what I'm getting ready to say? I'm, are you ready to say, Pastor? As always, you got it. All right, indeed. Delighted as that old sitcom from the 70s and 80s, What's Happening Now? I got it, I got it, and I got to report it. It is the report of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah declared it. Who has believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Of course, he was talking about our Lord Jesus, the same one that B.B. is talking about that he was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes he was he, we were healed. And so that summarized, as B.B. said, it, and it is his great love for us uh, he, in order to save us, in order to save the day because of love he put himself in harm's way. Well, we're excited. I want to extend to you a personal invitation to get connected and stay connected with us at uh, 5650 Sanderson Street Northwest, the Connect Center. It's Sweet R, Huntsville, Alabama, 35805. 10, 15 a.m. Central Standard Time. We're live and in person every Sunday morning. And of course, we're also online as well. We would so love to meet you, greet you, give you a great bear hug of love safely and to teach you the word of God, hear your story, share ours, and enjoy and being in the presence of the Lord and fellowship with all of God's people as we search the word of God. Well, we continue in our series, By God, Like God, because we want you to have that forged in your heart and in your mind such that you will say with the psalmist that, I will find satisfaction when I lay down and I wake up in the likeness of God. That's what uh, the psalmist wrote, I believe, in about the 17th Psalm, around the 15th verse, that uh, I will see your face in righteousness. And as for me, I will be satisfied when I lay down and wake up in your likeness. Well, is that an audacious and uh, too far reach thing? Absolutely not. That's God's the great design for you and I. And I believe it's so important for us to just lay hold of that more than just as a catchy phrase, but to allow it to find our life and existence moment by moment, day by day, how we see ourselves, the image that uh, rolls in our minds and our hearts of ourselves. What do you mean? that we see ourselves as those fearfully and wonderfully made by God, uh, as the psalmist also said, and as the apostle Paul by the Holy Spirit said in Ephesians chapter two and verse 10, we are his workmanship, his, handy, his, his handiwork. We are his masterpieces created in Christ unto good works that were ordained before time began for us. You know what that means? That means that regardless of what your life experience has been, whether you say it's good or bad or what's happened in your life, it does not diminish or alter God's original intent and plan for you and making you and designing you to be a unique masterpiece of his from before time begins. See, that's before anything ever happened, before you ever did anything right or wrong. That's one of the most powerful truths of the theological term predestination is actually in the Bible. Uh, as the scripture describes in Romans chapter eight and verse 29, that whom God did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his own son, that he might be 
the firstborn among many brethren. In other words, friend, that he sent Jesus into the world that he might, through his life, death, burial, and resurrection, restore us to God's original intent and design. That's why we're talking about by God, like God. You know, the image that you have of yourself uh, determines the goals you set in life. It determines your actions and reactions to things in life. Um, you know, you may feel victimized and you may have been victimized, but when you have the image of God in you, you say this, I am still more than a conqueror because of him that loved, loved me. Greater is he that is in me, that is in the world, and I am born of God. I'm born to overcome. This is your faith at work, friend. Your faith, not in yourself, but in the God who made you, how he made you, and what he made you for. He made you for triumph. He made you for victory. He made you to be a difference maker in this world. He made you for good. Uh, to have a good life, uh, blessed, uh, uh, and to live a blessed life, but he also made you to be a blessing. You see, friend, I'll conclude with this. In order for you to be a blessing in this world, you have to move beyond the idea of life beating you up and you being victimized in life to the point where you say, it may have happened to me, but it does not define who I am. I am fearfully and I am wonderfully made now, I'm going to, by God's grace, be my fearfully and wonderfully made self every day as God works in me to will and to do of his good pleasure and to do good in this world because he has made me for that purpose. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosion Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond where the dream of change is alive and Jesus is our joy. Because together, you and I, we're the difference that makes a difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this sensational Sunday morning, Pete. You know, that was uh, the name of a uh, 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 gospel group. You, you hear them, they... Sensational Nightingale. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, yeah, uh, they, they need you as a spokesperson. <laughs> <laughs> they, sure, they sure do. And we appreciate the message, Pastor. We appreciate you. And we look forward to hearing another great one on tomorrow morning, bright and early at 7 o'clock, right here on WBJL. Yes, sir. As do we, you, your 54 plus years leading the way, keeping us in the house with good gospel music and encouraging words is much appreciated as well. Lord willing, we'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Bye bye for now. Bye bye now. All right. Well, hey, listen, hey, love to see you guys today. It's our privilege to serve you with knowledge and understanding as pastors called after God's own heart. Uh, to just share the word of God with you every single day to empower you, instruct you, to guide you, to summon you to the glory and purpose that God has created and made and invested in you and invested you in this world to bring alive. We want you to discover, embrace, and manifest the glory of being created in God's design by God, like God. We're going to be talking about your design to godliness today. And uh, we'd love to see you there. 5650 Sanderson Street, Northwest. That's Huntsville, Alabama, 35805. You'll see the signs, the Connect Center. Until then, remember this. God loves himself some you, and we do too. You matter to God. And you matter to us. Have a sensational Sunday on purpose. We'll talk to you again real soon.